I'm going to share with you a latency benchmark that you can use to determine how sensitive you are to input lag. Okay. And what I'm trying to figure out is exactly what is the input lag penalty that you get when engaging OLED Motion Pro High. That's it. Because people sometimes claim that, oh, the input lag is bad when you use a uh, black frame insertion. <laughs> and I don't agree. I say, no, that's not a problem at all. So I do not have a final answer today. What I'm going to do is I'm going to share with you the benchmark, show you how it works. I'm going to have the link in the description so you can download it. But I'm going to talk about some other considerations before we go down that rabbit hole. So one, for OLED Motion Pro, you need to lock the frame rate and you need to have VSync on. So VSync needs to be on. Actually, I force VSync in the NVIDIA control panel because you want a smooth motion. You don't want any, any uh, stuttering. Okay. So when you do that, <laughs> you have VSync on and especially at 120, the you are you are reaching the refresh rate the maximum refresh rate of the display there is going to be a penalty on the input lag big time <laughs> it's like twice the input lag added so for example here right now in fortnite you see the game is running at 120 frames the gpu is about 96 97 percent and the average pc latency is 37 a milliseconds okay so what happens 40 41 milliseconds this is the nvidia overlay you just press alt r you see the average pc latency it's about 40 milliseconds so what happens if the frame rate drops see if i can make the frame rate <laughs> drop below the refresh rate of the display so the frame rate drops well it's not dropping here <laughs> i'm getting good performance let me see if i can find a place where the frame rate drops Okay, so here, for example, you see the frame rate is dropping below 120. And when that happens, the latency drops to 22, uh, 23 milliseconds. Okay, so from 40, 42 to 20, 22. So it's almost double. <laughs> okay, and there is a reason, there's an explanation for that. I kind of, I read the explanation, I kind of understand it, but I don't know the explanation by memory to explain it to you. But basically, when you hit the refresh rate of, of the display, there is a huge uh, input lag penalty because of the uh, PC uh, latency. So we are below 120. The PC latency is 22 milliseconds, 23 milliseconds right here. If I get 120 FPS, then that latency is almost double 32 uh, milliseconds. So here in Fortnite, as specifically, we have the solution for that. We just have to enable a boost mode. And you will see now, if I enable boost mode, that uh, problem is fixed. But we don't have that, op that option in, in a lot of games. <laughs> in most games, I would say, we don't have that option. So you look now, I am below 120. The latency is 21. If I get 120, let me look at... Okay, so if I get 120, the latency is still the same. 23... 24, 25 milliseconds. So there's no issues. The, that issue is resolved by using uh, Ultra, a boost mode that NVIDIA has. Okay, And I have NVIDIA Ultra Low Latency also on the uh, control panel. So my point is, and this is what I want to, to share with you. So far, the testing uh, that I've done with that uh, benchmark, with that latency benchmark, I see that for me, it is very, very easy to tell 10 milliseconds of latency. Very, very easy. So what I do is I say, okay, this is the based line. Let's try now turning on and off OLED Motion Pro. So BFI here on the LGC one. And I see that the latency penalty I am getting by using OLED Motion Pro is less than 10 milliseconds for sure. <laughs> it's less because for me, it is a lot more difficult to tell the difference between turning on and off OLED Motion Pro and just comparing 10 milliseconds of latency. Okay, I'm going to show you how the benchmark works so you see that a little bit more clear. So the idea 
is to know exactly what is my limit and I believe it's about five milliseconds so I do I did the five millisecond test okay so let me show you let me show you before I do that uh, just to give you an update on Fortnite uh, it is now supporting the auto HDR from Windows 11 and it looks fantastic the only thing you have to do is just use the HDR calibration app and just set you know 0 780 and 780 on the HDR calibration app and then uh, it's perfect the HDR is absolutely amazing uh, just use HGIG and lower the black level of the LGC one lower the black level using fine-tuned dark areas minus 16 or a screen brightness 46 okay so that's perfect it looks absolutely amazing it's beautiful I'm not using black from insertion right now so you see that uh, it's super colorful super bright and yeah and I'm getting 120 just using the settings that I show you you already saw here on the screen so let me show you the latency uh, benchmark okay so let me minimize here the game and show you this latency uh, benchmark okay so let me just close the game so it is called latency split test and I got this from Aperture Grill I'm gonna have a link in the description of the video so I cannot do this test right now because to do this test you need to have vSync off and I have vSync on right now on the Nvidia control panel for the games so I would need to do a separate video doing this test so you have to you need vsync off and you cannot have any cap you cannot cap the frame rate with Riva tuner like I'm doing right now because you need 1000 frames per second <laughs> on this game this is a game it's an Unreal Engine 4 game that you open and it runs at, at 1000 frames per second so the idea here let me move the camera so you see the the full screen okay so you see that left okay so you see this top left corner here it is a small but we have a, a latency number that we can change with our wheel so we increase the latency for example 100 milliseconds and we compare that with zero okay so what we do on this benchmark is we move the camera we move this uh, line here on the screen and we compare okay we see that I see clearly that B is more responsive and I see that A has the input lag so if this is the one that has the input lag I just click here and then it's gonna be green see that's how you do it so then what you do is you say okay I can already tell the difference between 100 milliseconds and zero of course and then you lower that input lag let's say to 50 okay let's try out 50 and move the mouse this one is responsive change to B this one is laggy boom green okay so 50 is very easy to tell let's lower the, the, the latency and again to do this you need to have vsync off because you want this test to be running at 1000 frames per second okay so then let's try 10 it's gonna be difficult to tell here so I move let's see B let's see A okay A feels A feels more responsive so B is the one with the latency problem and I click here see so then if I reduce it below 10 milliseconds it's gonna be more difficult because the game is not running at 1000 but let's try it I lower it to 5 and then you, I move the camera let's see which one is the one okay B is the one that has the latency boom I was wrong <laughs> see so then once you find your limit what you have to do is you have to start the test so you click space the space bar and then you have to be right 14 times you have to be right 14 times out of 16 okay that's, a, that's very very accurate so if you are able to tell the difference 14 times out of 16 you are able to tell the difference if not you're not <laughs> so if you do 10 out of 16 you are not able to tell the difference that's what they tell you here on this uh, benchmark so 
the idea for me, what I'm going to do is I'm going to find out my limit. I'm going to see, okay, five milliseconds. I think that five milliseconds is probably my limit. Of course, the mouse has something to do with that, of course. And I'm going to find out my limit. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to see, I'm going to try to find the range that OLED Motion Pro is in. So what I'm going to do is, okay, I believe right now that OLED Motion Pro is less than 10 milliseconds. It's adding less than 10 milliseconds of latency. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to find my limit. So let's say my limit is 5 milliseconds. Okay. So then what I'm going to try to do is this. I'm going to try to narrow down the range until I find exactly what is the latency of engaging OLED Motion Pro High. But that's going to take an insane amount of work. Insane, because it's so difficult to tell the difference and to verify and to confirm that. And at the end, I might still be wrong. <laughs> so let me show you here from NVIDIA what is well, what we are trying to determine here. The latency goes from when you click or you use your controller until the end here with the response time of the display. Let me make sure you can see that. Okay. So everything is important. So the mouse has a, a peripheral. So there is a peripheral latency, which is very small, of course. Then we have the CPU part and we have the GPU part. And then the, we have the display part. Okay, so what the NVIDIA overlay is showing us is this PC latency. That's including the CPU and the GPU. So as you can see in this picture, this PC latency, you know, that's 40 milliseconds I was showing you in Fortnite without using ultra low latency mode boost. It's huge and it's actually a lot bigger than the display. Okay, especially we know that the display response time of the OLED. So this is nothing. <laughs> this, is, this pixel response time on the OLED is nothing. Okay, the scan out, I believe it is not changing at all because the scan out is basically the time that takes from top to bottom to show you the frame. So using OLED Motion Pro is not changing that. that you're, you're going, the frame is taking the same amount of time to go from top to bottom. The only thing that is changing is the pixel visibility time. So you are able to see the pixels uh, less time for a shorter period of time. But the display is scanning uh, each frame and it's taking the same time. So the only thing that we are trying to find out here is the processing. <laughs> if there is any processing uh, delay, and there is, there is a processing delay, it seems based on on what I can tell. But that is so insignificant in comparison with everything. Look at this. Mouse, CPU, GPU. And I show you already that using VSync is, is doubling <laughs> the input lag. It's, it's making the input lag twice as bad. So if you have to do that anyway, <laughs> And turning on and off the OLED Motion Pro, you can barely tell the difference. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. And what you will definitely uh, see is that turning on OLED Motion Pro improves the motion clarity big time. It's 2.6x. So the motion clarity is improved in 2.6. So you're multiplying the motion clarity by 2.6. That is massive massive so the idea that oh i'm not gonna use all in motion pro because of the input lag that is just nonsense in my opinion <laughs> you might not like it because it's darker and you want to use hdr and enjoy the the more vivid colors the more br the brighter picture absolutely i can understand that actually i do that sometimes i say okay let me enjoy hdr i do it and it's awesome but don't tell me because of the input lag, because there are so many other factors that are way, way more important 
just by lowering the settings and having the GPU working below, uh, you know, 80% is going to make a bigger difference probably. But uh, that's what I'm going to explore. I'm going to explore all the options. I'm going to dive in to this input lag rabbit hole. So when people ask me, I can tell for sure this is the number. This is why this is my recommendation. And this is how you can set up your game to get the best input lag. And I'm also going to explore the option of using a scan, a sync, using the Riva Turner a statistics server. I explored that before, but I was not able to to find to find the a perfect solution. I was still getting a screen tearing. So we have this a scan line sync that we can use. It's not easy to set up, uh, but I'm I'm going to explore that because that's going to of course improve the input lag for games that don't support this Nvidia ultra low latency mode with boost mode, ultra and all of that. So yeah, let me know if you have any questions.